Oh, finally. Man, he's so, so freaking cool, dude. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So, this one is actually pretty cool in my opinion, man. Mainly because this is one of the coolest bosses in the game overall. It was even in the marketing and even in one of the most commonly used... Uh, uh, I guess you could say thumbnails and stuff and, you know, images that Remnant has used for this video game. And that is the fire dragon that is called Singe. The reason why I know Sin this is the Singe boss is because we are in the Ash Yard, which is, is the base home or the home base or whatever for this boss. But with that being said, this boss does not have a prerequisite dungeon because this is a world boss, which, meaning that... Once you beat this boss, you're basically going over to a new world. So, there is no prerequisite dungeon for this specific boss. But with that being said, let's go ahead and actually jump into the gameplay and take on this dragon called Singe. And we'll get on with it. Alright, so something to take into consideration with this world boss is that it actually has an alternative kill. Similar to that of the Ent. So the Ent, if you shoot off his leg, you are able to get a different kind of weapon than if you just kill him normally. This is similar, which I'll explain at the very end of the video. Where'd he go? Hello? I guess he doesn't want to come out? I have no idea where he's at. He's supposed to be coming out from over here. I guess he doesn't want to come out and play. Oh, finally. Man, he's so, so freaking cool, dude. Go ahead and get out of the way. Uh, he's really not that difficult. So the thing behind Singe is that he deals with fire damage. And his weak spot, if you notice right there, is actually his stomach. Ah! Oh, I almost got away with not getting hit at all. But he's dead. <laughs> that was pretty simple, if you ask me. Alright guys. So, fighting Singe is actually really cool because he has an alternative kill. But if you choose to kill him normally, you get this crafting uh, uh, item, if you will, called the Blazing Heart. And the Blazing Heart can be used to obtain this weapon right here called the Spitfire, which is an, it's, a, it's a boss weapon, obviously, that deals in fire damage. As far as DPS goes, it's actually a lot less than say the submachine gun which is what i use and it has the ability to put its own specific mod power in it whereas the spitfire already has its own already installed on the thing and you can't remove it as you can see right there on the right it says non-removable however the flamethrower weapon mod is actually very unique it's the only type of weapon mod in this game that has a flamethrower type effect to it and i think it's pretty cool it, it's potentially pretty uh, strong too. However, it doesn't really do any damage to things that are like fire-based, like the like the the world boss that we just fought, for example, Singe. It won't do any damage to him because he is pretty much fire itself. Uh, but other than that, though, it's actually a pretty decent weapon. However, if you choose to 
uh, have the alternative kill, which, uh, by the way, the alternative kill is done by going around its back and shooting off its tail. Uh, if you choose to do that, you get a crafting, uh, you know, item called Dragon Links, which is actually a melee weapon, and it's one of the coolest weapons in the game. Uh, and it goes by Smolder. The thing with Smolder here, I'll equip this so that you guys can actually see it, is that it's actually on fire and it deals fire damage the the burning effect so it's actually a pretty good weapon overall uh when it comes to uh functionality though uh i think it's more aesthetic than anything because it's not super strong but it it, it has the potential i guess is what i'm trying to say but those are the two things that you can get by you know fighting singe and i think it's a pretty good i think it's a pretty cool world boss just overall even its aesthetic and everything i think singe is probably one of the cooler bosses in the game but that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys for watching drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video deuces <laughs>